Welcome back, friends, to the homestead. I've got a fun video for you guys today, and also this was requested by some of my subscribers. Today we're going to be testing the cheapest cordless chainsaw on Amazon. Now, I couldn't believe it when I started looking around to see what you, what you could get. I got the whole thing at when I bought it. Prices fluctuate for $68, and that included shipping. And that's with a battery, a charger, and two chains and a 10 inch bar. So let's open it up and see what you get for $68. So this is the uh, Greenworks, Greenworks. Sometimes the, the, you know, some of the names they come up with uh, on our Chinese stuff, uh, they miss the mark with translation, but uh, you know, they're always trying to copy something that uh, has a, a reputable name. Like uh, I think they're going after maybe the, the excellent Greeley line of tools for you know, electricians use, but here we have it. It's a, <laughs> <laughs> it's very plasticky. It's very tall. Um, standard charger. Here's the battery. Lithium battery, it says here. So what's the amp hours on this thing? Uh, does it even say? So we have uh, 21 volts, uh, 4.2 watt WH, watt hours, lithium ion, um, and then the, the fast charger. Uh, extra chain, we'll take a look at that. But here's the, uh, here's the bell of the ball. <laughs> So, a 10 inch bar. Now this is something that's really unusual to me. You East Coast guys, you know, this is the standard for you guys. There's nothing new here, but uh, let's, uh, let's get into it and see how the tensioner works. And uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not that bad. You know, guys, I've got to admit, it is a handsome, it is a, maybe I like the color. It's a handsome looking thing. Okay, so let's, uh, it did come with a chain on it and an extra chain, which I was not expecting. So let's take a look on the inside here. Um, yeah, we got our, our 10 inch bar. Uh, we got a metal drive sprocket. Uh, the, the chain looks really flimsy. I don't know so much about that, but I would imagine with this, this is our adjuster. So it's toolless. Let's see, how's this working here? There we go. It's toolless, uh, which is really a nice feature uh, for the, um, on the most electric saws, or the few that I've actually had my hands on. So you don't need any tools, so we can just, Tighten that up. Uh, we've got a little rub block on there. Does the brake work? Oh, no brake. <laughs> I guess a little different rules in the, with the Chineseium stuff here. Um, a lot of plastic. Definitely a lot of, how's that fit on there? So do you have to, oh, okay. So it's gotta go, oh man. It's not working out very good for us here. What's going on here? Oh, I, you know, I mean, I try to be an optimistic person, but this, I don't know about this, guys. Okay, I think I got the order wrong, so it looks like you might have to. Give me strength. Oh, good grief, finally. Seems odd that they made it so tall. Actually, this bar oil... The way they've done it here is kind of a thoughtful, uh, thoughtful design. You can fill it with the uh, without turning the chainsaw on its side. Can we call this a chainsaw? Let's see, how it takes a little bar oil. That's a pretty small hole there. Knowing my, yeah, of course, standard. We just can't have a day go by without me spilling gas or oil on the ground. I. I don't know what it is. It's it's like my it's like my kryptonite or something. So we've got a uh, got an old fur, dry fur here. I'm a ten inch bar. I don't know. Uh, I I'm I think I would be surprised if it actually gets through this. Set. I mean, just the feel and look of it all. It's uh, it's it's pretty terrible. Uh, but we'll uh, let's find out. Let's see what type of power it has. <laughs> well, it, it got it done, but it took some time. It's, it's, not, it's not a fast cutter, uh, but it actually had more power uh, than I was expecting. So our chain's a little loose there. That's pretty common. You get a new chain, even a, even a pro chain there, they'll stretch on you a little bit, but uh, no problem. All right, well, here's the ultimate test. Will it do a plunge? To its credit, it was able to do uh, a plunge cut. The uh, it's oiling, 
uh, more than it should. There's uh, getting a lot of excess oil. Uh, the oiling port's too, definitely too, uh, too large. Nobody's harder on tools than guys in the logging industry, except for maybe guys in mining. They're pretty rough on stuff too. So a, a, a chainsaw's got to be tough, right, to get your job done. So you should be able to withstand a, a, a fall uh, from a tree or something. So uh, let's see how, uh, how it holds up here and if it still cuts after a, a little tumble. That was about a nine or 10, 10 foot fall. Battery came out, but that's standard. Does it still work? Well, it's tough, I'll give it that. We'll pull up a bench here and we'll talk about the, uh, the green works. So price, what are we looking at? So we're looking at $70 here, $70 basically shipped, give or take. Um, it's probably what you're going to pay uh, for something like this. Uh, would does it have a place? Does it have? Is it uh, is it worth that money? Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's not it's not great. I, you know, I wonder I wondered if the if it's kind of hampered by the chain. As I said, if it wouldn't be a little bit better, um, we did three cuts with it. But I'll tell you, you know, I mean, it, it is it is sharp. There's no question. It's just sticky sharp. Maybe I've just got unrealistic expectations. I'm just used to more powerful saws. This is a ridiculously large thing to cut. This would be more in line, more in tune to cut something like a after a storm, you know, branches and just cleaning up around the house. Um, I noticed in using it, the it doesn't have a dedicated like a steel dogs like a, a nicer saw would have. It's got the built-in plastic ones, which which seem to work. You know, the DeWalt, which is way more expensive than this and way better, I might add, uh, has the same thing, you know, the plastic dogs. And, you know, they're, again, these things are just disposable. Um, with a little bit bigger battery, I think, you know, if you were just, as again, cleaning up branches and stuff and just, you just needed something around the household for not spending a lot of money, is it a viable option? Probably not. <laughs> I would, uh, I'd save your money and, and buy something a little bit better. If you think you want a cordless chainsaw, you know, get into the Milwaukee's or the Makita's, you know, do the reviews. You know, some of you guys have told me that the DeWalt's have not had good reviews compared to the Makita's and the, and the Milwaukee's. That very well may be. I don't know. I only tested it the other day because that's the only one that I have. So do your research on that. Uh, oil's a little bit heavy. Um, I don't know. There's no way to adjust that like on a nice saw, but it does oil. Uh, so you do have that. But at $70, um, it does work. It's a functioning saw. What do we have? We have one bar left, so I would say we'd probably get half a cut, uh, and that would be basically it. So does it have any place at all? Well, I'll tell you, it, it is ergonomically, it's it's actually a pretty nice saw to use. It's got a half wrap handle on it. Um, the oiler is easy to get to. The adjustment system is actually very good. Um, it's ergonomic, it's nice. This handle here, you know, I don't really know what that's going to do other than, I just don't really know. Um, but would it have a place? I would say if you've got, if you're teaching your kids, right, what, um, this would be something you could do with them uh, rather than get them, because it's intimidating. It's intimidating for a lot of people that are, have not been around gas engines and the chainsaw, you know, they're automatically afraid of them. To take away the gas engine part of it, um, it's just one less thing for people to worry about or make them nervous. So if you, of course, highly supervised, I need to say that, highly supervised. If you had a young boy or, or young girl uh, that you wanted to get involved in it, this would work because it's so light. I mean, a man could easily take this up and you could reach up and you could cut limbs and branches with it. Um, and a kid, it would be easy for them to handle. You're not gonna have tremendous power kickback problems, but um, I don't know. I guess it, to be honest with you guys, I think I would rather wait. Uh, save your 70 bucks and, and add, uh, you know, wait a couple months and then get something uh, a little higher quality. Um, you know, go buy yourself a Husqvarna or a steel, you know, like the Rancher series saws. You know, those are great little saws in there, you know, three times the money, but uh, it's three times, it's 50 times the saw. So that's it. That's my review on the, on the Greenworks, the cheapest cordless chainsaw on Amazon. Um, a little bit better than what I expected, um, but not much better. But <laughs> that's, that's what it is. So thanks for watching. Keep us in your prayers. May God bless you and your families. And we'll see you guys on the next video.